This announcement today uh, is the largest single commitment to training uh, that the EPSRC has done and I suspect that any other research council has done. Well it's an extra £250 million to train over 2,000 PhD students. So these are our brightest and best. It's the next generation of scientists and entrepreneurs who are going to deliver the breakthroughs that we need for the future. What EPSRC are announcing is a major injection of funding into graduate training in the UK. This is very important because it will allow UK universities, the top universities in the UK, to compete with their international competitors. And what's different about this is that as well as funding these extra students, we're doing so in a way which encourages the universities to form communities of research in partnership with industry, addressing some of the key challenges that the UK faces, things like climate change, energy, security and an ageing population. The new doctoral training centres are really a huge step change over what we've had before and it's been piloted by the EPSRC so we know the new system works, it's just so exciting. The doctoral training centre offered the opportunity to, instead of narrowing my horizons as I studied to a greater degree, to actually broaden them somewhat. Instead of it being really narrowly focused for three years on some really esoteric bit of academic research, these students are going to know so much more. I'm studying systems biology and ultimately I'd like to go into bio nanotechnology. So I'd like to study stem cells and nanotechnology. So that's something that's not really been done before. And the DTC kind of allows you to do that um, much better than if you were just doing a normal PhD. So one of the great things about the doctoral training centre is I've been able to do work that's directly clin clinically relevant. Um, it's, it could make an impact on actual clinical work very quickly. And through the doctoral training centre I've actually had the opportunity to do something that is an actual problem that doctors bring to us. Well the doctoral training centres give us a real opportunity to work very close to the academics in those universities. We've already got good relationships but now there'll be other ways of uh, relating to those people. The most important thing for British business is that they have access to a good pool of very highly qualified people but who are not just good at the science and understanding the science, but they understand how business works too. We need completely new breeds of scientists to take a completely innovative approach. And those are precisely the sorts of scientists that will be produced by these new doctoral training programs. More than ever, we're realizing that the world, and not just the UK, is facing some massive challenges, globalisation, global warming, and they have huge implications for all sorts of things. And the solutions to those problems have to be multidisciplinary. With these doctoral training centres, that's precisely what we're focusing on, students talking to each other across disciplines and really learning about how to deliver the solutions to those problems. And the UK is going to be so ahead of the world on this. It's really important that the UK positions itself to be a leader in these areas of real importance of the future and this scheme makes sure that we have the people to do that.